Franz Weber is an environmentalist and animal welfare activist. Life Franz Weber began his career as a journalist and reporter. After his studies of philosophy and linguistics at the Sorbonne University in Paris, he worked from his Paris office from 1951 until 1973. Weber became actively interested in ecology and conservation in 1965, when he learned about efforts to conserve the Swiss mountain region, the Engadine Valley of the Lakes. Weber decided to invest himself in the rescue and safeguarding of this region by beginning an international press campaign. At the end of a seven years battle by Weber the Swiss federal government declared the Engadine Valley of the Lakes a national conservation region and put it under the state's protection. In order to be able to launch further campaigns, he quit writing for money and devoted himself entirely to the conservation of natural sites of special beauty and value in France, Germany, Austria, Italy, Greece, Switzerland, Slovenia and Hungary, as well as endangered species in South America, Canada, Australia, Africa and Europe. He founded the Franz Weber Foundation in 1975. The board is composed of five international personalities with Weber as president. The foundation has today over 230 supporter members. In 1997, in the presence of Emile Gardas, Jean-Pierre Theolette and some other personalities, the township of Delphi appointed him a site hoy and honor. Weber is married to Judith with one daughter, Vera, and lives in Montreux, Switzerland. Campaigns In the 1970s and 2000s, Franz Weber launched two popular referendums for the complete protection of the Laveau region and succeeded. In 2007 the vineyard landscape of Laveau was registered as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, one of the Foundation's first international campaigns in defense of animals was the fight against the yearly slaughters of seals on the coast of Labrador in Canada. The campaign, which started in 1976, included a trip with French film actress Bridget Bardo and 75 newspaper reporters to the Labrador seal hunting grounds. In 1983 the European Economic Community banned all importations of baby seal pelts into the EEC. In 1978 the Council of Europe in Strasbourg appealed to Franz Weber to save ancient Delphi in Greece from destruction by an American Greek project of industrialization. Weber created the successful international movement Save Delphi and within only a few months stopped the project. When, in 1986, Delphi is again threatened by industrialization, Save Delphi was successfully revived. In 1997, in recognition of his merits and campaigns, the city of Delphi named Weber honorary citizen and protector of Delphi. In 1983 Weber battled against the destruction of the alluvial forests of the Danube between Hainburg and Vienna in Austria to build a hydroelectrical complex. His foundation invited 40 European journalists to Vienna and to draw an international attention to the project. On Christmas 1984 the Austrian government stopped the project and in 1995 Chancellor Franz Ranitzky decides to offer the water forest region of the Danube to the coming generations as the first Austrian national park. Also in 1983, parallel to the Danube campaign, Weber saved the turn-of-the-century Grand Hotel Giesbach on Lake Breens near Interlaken from destruction by raising the funds to purchase the property. He then entrusted it to the Swiss people as a place of culture, of meeting and of rejuvenation. In 2008 a referendum initiated by Weber to end Swiss Air Force training flights over tourist areas to reduce the impact of noise pollution was soundly defeated by a vote of 68.1%. Weber, who referred to the Air Force's newest jet fighter, the F.A. 18 Hornet, as oversized, ineffective, and ruinous to our country, proposed the use of simulators to replace air operations. Franz Weber Parks
In 1989, the Franz Weber Foundation purchased Bonrook Station, a former cattle station near Pine Creek, Northern Territory, which it has since developed into a sanctuary for brubbies and native wildlife. In 1990, the Togolese government approached Weber with an appeal to save Togo's last elephants. A convention was signed which placed the National Park of Faisal Malfakata into the care of the Franz Weber Foundation. Prizes and honors. In 1974, the state of Texas and the city of Austin made Weber honorary citizen for his merits in conservation and in preservation of the environment. In 1978, he received the German Prize for Conservation of Nature. In 1979, he was awarded the German Medal of Environment. In 1981, Count Bernadette of Sweden honored him with the European Prize for Land Conservation. In 1986, he received the Hans Adalbert Schweigart Medal from the World Union for Protection of Life. In 1997, he was Saint Louis and Honor of Delphi. In 2007, he received the Swiss Tier World Prize for his lifetime work in favor of the animals. Books. Books by Franz Weber. Des Montaigne's A Soul Ever. Die Durutterlands Chaft. Paradis Sauvé. Das Jurette Paradies, a biography about Franz Weber was written in 2004 by René Langel. Franz Weber, L'homme victoire de l'impossible. Franz Weber, Rebel für die Nature.